summer break, a time for leisure, recreation, and taking her easy. Unless you're me. <laughs> my name is Dipper. The girl about to puke is my sister Mabel. You may be wondering what we're doing in a golf cart, fleeing from a creature of unimaginable horror. <laughs> There's a perfectly logical explanation. Let's rewind. It all began when our parents decided we could use some fresh air. They shipped us up north to a sleepy town called Gravity Falls, Oregon to stay at our great uncle's place in the woods. And there's a goat on my bed. My sister attended to look on the bright side of things. But I was having a hard time getting used to our new surroundings. And then there was our great uncle Stan. That guy. Our uncle had transformed his house into a tourist trap he called the Mystery Shack. The real mystery was why anyone came. And guess who had to work there? It looked like it was going to be the same boring routine all summer. Until one fateful day. Mabel, I know you're going through your whole boy crazy phase, but I think you're kind of overdoing it with the crazy part. Yeah, but do you need to flirt with every guy you meet? <laughs> Got it. Oh, what? Grunkle Stan, whenever I'm in those woods, I feel like I'm being watched. I'm telling you, something weird is going on in this town. Just today, my mosquito bite spelled out, beware. <sighs> Uncle Stan, nobody ever believes anything I say. What the? It's hard to believe it's been six years since I began studying the strange and wondrous secrets of Gravity Falls, Oregon. What is all this? Unfortunately, my suspicions have been confirmed. I'm being watched. I must hide this book before he finds it. Remember, in Gravity Falls, there is no one you can trust. No one you can trust. Ah! Uh, uh, it's nothing. Uh... Let's go somewhere private. It's amazing. Uncle Stan said I was being paranoid, but according to this book, Gravity Falls has this secret dark side. And get this, after a certain point, the pages just stop. Like the guy who was writing it mysteriously disappeared. Who's that? Let me get this straight. In the half hour I was gone, you already found a boyfriend? Oh, I was just catching up on, uh... Gold Chains for Old Men magazine? Hey, so what's your name? Are you bleeding, Norman? There was something about Norman that wasn't right. I decided to consult the journal. Known for their pale skin and bad attitudes, these creatures are often mistaken for... Teenagers! Beware, Gravity Falls is nefarious! <laughs> Zombie! Zombie? Or am I just going nuts? Seuss, <laughs> you've seen Mabel's boyfriend. He's gotta be a zombie, right? Zero. As always, Seuss, you're right. My sister could be in trouble. It was time to get some evidence. I'd seen enough. Mabel, we've gotta talk about Norman. <laughs> no, Mabel, listen, I'm trying to tell you that Norman is not what he seems. Yes again, sister. Shabam! Oh wait, I'm, so I'm sorry. Shabam! I'm not joking. It all adds up. The bleeding, the limp, he never blinks! Have you noticed that? Mabel, remember what the book said about Gravity Falls? Trust no one! Mabel, he's gonna eat your brain! Wait! And I'm but, not but, gonna but, let you- What am I gonna do? Zeus is right. I don't have any real evidence. <laughs> I guess I can be kind of paranoid sometimes and- Wait, what?! <laughs> Sip. 
wiggling hug? Pat, Pat, what's the catch? Oh, that ought to do the trick. This journal told me there was no one in Gravity Falls I could trust. But when you battle a hundred gnomes side by side with someone, you realize that they've probably always got your back. Hey, Mabel, could you get the light? <laughs> Our uncle told us there was nothing strange about this town. But who knows what other secrets are waiting to be unlocked.